Parents, do you live in Muskogee County and have a child that will be four years old on or before September 1st? If so, registration for Muskogee County School District's pre-K program is now open. A quality preschool experience prepares a child to succeed in kindergarten and beyond. Get more information by scanning this QR code or contact the pre-K department listed here. department and this is Quarantine Kitchen. I'm Lane from Children's and today we are dressing up our ramen. Yeah. So cook it up. <laughs> Perfect. For ingredients you'll need shiitake mushrooms or any variety of your preference. Sariyasha mayo. Lemongrass flavoring. I buy the stir in paste but you can also put fresh lemongrass in your ramen, or you can buy the dry packets. A packet of your choice of ramen, it doesn't matter which flavor it is. Freshly chopped green onions, a soft boiled egg, freshly cut dill, pickled ginger, you can usually find this at any Asian grocery store, roasted seaweed snack, and about two tablespoons of sesame oil. For equipment, you'll need a measuring cup, a set of measuring spoons, tongs for picking up the noodles and stirring them in the broth, a nonstick pan or a pot, and a spatula. For serving, you'll need a noodle bowl or any sort of oversized bowl. We're going to be packing a lot of toppings on, so the bigger the better. And of course, a pair of chopsticks if you're a pro, but I guess you can use a fork too. Step one, add sesame oil to a preheated pan and then the shiitake mushrooms. Don't overcrowd the pan. This will ensure that the mushrooms get crisp and brown while cooking. Once the shiitake mushrooms are done cooking, you can put them on a plate and set them aside for now. Mm. Step two, cook the ramen according to the instructions given on the package. In this case, I'm adding one and three fourths cup of water and boiling it. Once the water reaches a boil, I'll add the noodles, then turn the heat off immediately. I know this seems weird not to boil the noodles longer, but I much prefer a firm noodle to a soggy one. The heat from the water as the noodles sit in the bowl is enough to give the noodles a good texture. Once the noodles have cooked, you can go ahead and add the flavor packet that comes with the ramen, and then stir it into the water in the noodles. Step three. Now we can start adding all our delicious toppings. First, take about 1 fourth to 1 half teaspoon of the lemongrass paste and let it dissolve into the broth. Take the cooked shiitake mushrooms, soft boiled egg, pickled ginger, toasted seaweed, dill, and green onions and place them gently on top of the noodles, each next to each other. Then take 
take the spicy mayo and in a zigzag pattern, pour it over the toppings. Now you're ready to enjoy your delicious piping hot bowl of ramen. Hey guys, it's time for a book talk. Today is all about Pok Pok noodles, recipes from Thailand. So if you enjoyed the ramen we just made and you're ready to do something more advanced and authentic, this is the cookbook for you. The first section covers common ingredients you'll need to make the noodle bowls. Some of the ingredients you'll be able to find in regular supermarkets, but many will be widely available in Asian markets. The second section covers all the different types of noodles that are used in the recipes throughout the book, how to prepare them properly, and their differences, plus any substitutions you can make. The third section is about equipment you'll need to prepare the recipes. The author has labeled every piece of equipment either as many recipes require, for people that want to make the most dishes with the least amount of equipment, or some recipes require, for people that want to make every single recipe in the book. There's also a cute cultural section on how to eat noodles in Thailand and different ways to top your bowls. And an interesting step-by-step -step process with pictures on how fresh rice noodles in Thai cuisine are made. Some of the recipes include rice vermicelli with coconut cream, pineapple, green mango, fish balls, and lime. Rice vermicelli with shrimp, coconut milk, and toasted mung bean served with a chili garlic oil. A Thai version of chicken noodle soup to add a spin to a comfort food classic. Spicy sweet tart noodle soup with coconut milk and fish. Stir fried rice noodles with pork, egg, and tamarind. Stir-fried macaroni with shrimp, vegetables, and ketchup. Side items and appetizers such as American fried rice. Deep fried meatballs. And grilled meatballs. There's an additional section on beverages showcasing recipes like a lime drink and Thai iced tea. Visit us at cblga.org to reserve this title or any other you may be interested in. We're still offering our curbside services and we have limited walk-in hours. 